Welcome, guys. So video number four. Um, I guess we're going to just quickly go over the calendar and the uh, the uh, uses that will be there. Currently, it's just an overview, a calendar. Let's open this up a little bit. And yeah, you can do that with all of the pages. It's just it scales beautifully. Yeah. OK, so the calendar automatically logs everything that you're doing all of the tasks, the dates that they needed to be completed by. It just puts everything in like a nice overview for you so that you know when everything needs to be um, accomplished and finished and, and completed by. And, you know, what is and what isn't. And, uh, you know, you can tell from the colors. It's color coded what's on time, what's overdue and things that are overdue. Right now, all you can do is click on it. <laughs> Excuse me. And it'll open up. Um, the task and you can comment so you can actually comment through this interface as well um, what we're going to be adding is also into this um, feature drag and drop so that you just click that so that you just click that and say okay it's the 24th that was yesterday still not finished we need another few days and that will automatically just drag it from there to the 27th let's say or the 28th whenever and it will automatically make all of the changes necessary in the back end, um, dates, and new dates and colors and all that sort of things so that you don't have to make any other changes back here. And you don't have to go in and start editing over here, which you can and you can change the dates. That's how it's set up now. Um, but what we're going to have is so that later on um, it's going to come soon. Right now we're working on that, but we've got lots of updates coming. As you can see, we're actually using the task force. Um, you know, for a lot of the up for all of the new um, updates that we're currently working on together here. So um, as you can see, there's lots coming, you know, Google Calendar integrations, um, Nat Chart is going to be very cool. Um, Photo API, like I said in the other video. So we've got all of this coming soon, guys, as well. And um, the drag and drop feature is going to be really cool so that if you do see things that are red, you know, you can click on that make a comment, say, OK, moving this to whatever date you want to move it to. And then you just go ahead and take it from there, pick it up, move it there. And that's done, done, sends rejigs everything in the back end. All right. So that's the calendar, guys. That's what the plans are. We also have very quickly, we're pl planning on also integrating this calendar into the Browsio um, browser as well in the project so that you can have it um, so that you have different projects that you might want to come back to at certain dates and you may forget. So you, you can connect the project to the calendar so that when you're looking through your calendar and you remember, oh, that's correct. That's right. I had something that I needed to do on this project, this profile. You know, you just click on that and it'll go straight to that project. OK, so that's what's coming with the calendar. Lots and lots and lots of ways to streamline and make everything that we're doing that much more organized and that much more straightforward. And forget about any admin guys. Just get to SEO and social media and just let the Browsio system take care of all of that really pain in the butt admin side of things. Right. So that's the idea. See you in the next video.